everyone and welcome back to Geek Team Chemistry. I'm going to make some videos here that are very quick and not very flashy, um, but I, I just want to get some information out to you. I want to see what you think about this before I make more polished videos. Plus, I, I want to get these videos done before the school year starts. So get ready for some lean cut videos on the nature of science. Now, I did do a series on the nature of science a couple years ago. Um, I'm field testing some new ideas, some new definitions and things like that. So you can certainly check out my old series, but let's see what you think of these videos. I think you're going to like them. And so this first video is really just about some of the basic terms of science, the idea of evidence, data, observations, things like that. We're going to go a lot further in this and the rest of the series into the scientific method and theories and laws and things like that. But let's make sure we're all on the same page. Words matter. The problem with some of these words is that everyday people use them differently than scientists. And sometimes these differences aren't a big deal, and sometimes they're a huge deal. And so a lot of the confusion of scientific arguments is often just this idea of, well, what do you mean by that? And so this can really get in the way of a scientist explaining this stuff to the public. And so one of the first terms in science is the idea of empirical. Now, empirical just simply means involving the things of the physical universe and the forces that work on those components. So in science, this is known as the natural world. And again, this is anything you've ever studied in science class, anything from animals to atoms to the solar system to the forces themselves, physics, all that stuff. This is all the natural world as opposed to the supernatural world. And so information in science must be empirical. We must be able to measure it in the natural world. Science is not equipped to evaluate phenomena outside the natural world. And one of the examples I like to give is the idea of the fact that maybe trees talk and maybe trees feel pain. And this might absolutely be true, but we don't have any way to measure that. It's not part of the natural world in a way that we can measure. And so if we can't measure trees in pain, then we won't know. Trees may scream out when you cut them down. Um, you know, run, Larry, run. Like, Larry's like, I can't, I'm rooted. You know, tell my seedlings I love them. Ah, you know, stuff like that. They might be doing that, but, you know, we don't know. We can't measure it. And so the information observed and recorded during scientific investigations is called data or data. All right, and this is again, this can be qualitative and, or quantitative. And again, most of you have probably heard these terms before. Quantitative deals with numbers, qualitative deals with properties. So the color of something will be qualitative while the measurement of something like pH or mass would be quantitative. Observations is just the act of recording the information or more probably just the information itself. And so that's a synonym for data. These uh, can be direct relationships, um, employing the unaided senses, or they could be indirect, which employs instrumentation. So if you're looking through a telescope, that's indirect. Um, if you're listening to something, that would be direct. Now, evidence is a term that's used a lot. Evidence is simply data that's been interpreted to support or refute a scientific idea. Now, notice I'm not saying prove or disprove. We'll talk about those words later. The more evidence a scientific idea has, uh, the more widely it will be accepted. And this is especially important if it's coming from different investigative procedures. And that's called multiple lines of evidence, and we'll have a video on that later too. So let's practice. Uh, what is the difference between data and observation? What do you think? Were you paying attention? Really not much. <laughs> They're pretty much synonyms. As far as I can tell, let me know if I'm wrong about that. And then what's the difference between data and evidence? Again. Evidence is data that's been interpreted to either validate or refute a scientific idea. Anyway, so that's the first video in my revamped Nature of Science series. Please, again, throw some comments down of things that I need to change or fix. If you like what you see here, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.